Hey everyone, and welcome to a letter to my boys. And here's our question for the day. Hey Teddy, hey Charlie, it's me Poppy. Today is December 7th, 2017, and our question for today is, how did you meet mom? I met your mother when I lived in Korea, and I met her at the hospital where she worked. And the story goes like this. I was living in Korea for about 11 months at the time, and every year in Korea, you need to get a health checkup. It's just part of working and living here. Every year, citizens have to come, citizens have to get a checkup, and then submit the results to the government. They do this for health purposes and just to make sure that everybody's tip-top. So I had to go to the hospital because I was extending my work contract. I had finished my first year and I was going into my second. Now normally I would go to the office of education, I would go to the hospital, I'd go to immigration with a coworker because I was really still new in Korea and didn't know how things worked. But my coworker at the time wasn't really a great coworker and she told me to go by myself. Now, this was the first time I had done this, so I didn't know what to do, didn't know what to expect, or really the process, how it worked. So when I got there, I went down to the area where I was supposed to go and looked around. And, you know, I stuck out at the time. I was basically the only guy there and the only foreigner there. Everybody else was a bunch of old grandmas. And they were nice, but not really helpful. And I walked to the counter. When I got there, there was a line of nurses or uh, hospital workers standing there. And there was five, six, seven, eight. There was a bunch of them. But I remember that there was one who was much more beautiful than the others. Who was she? Your mom. And I was thinking in my head, ah, oh, man, I really hope she's the one who comes over and helps me. And as it turned out, I had good luck. She came over and said, Hi, do you need some help? And I explained the situation. She said, sure, it's no problem. I'm happy to help you. Now, in the process, you go to about six, seven different spots in the hospital. You have to get an x-ray. You have to get blood taken. You have to give a urine sample. Um, you have to go to a dental consultation. They give you a full battery of tests. And when you go from one spot to the other, on the floor there are these colored lines that you're supposed to walk. And you go from the red line, which takes you to the next spot, to the blue line, to the yellow, to the green, etc. But I didn't have to do that. Your mom took me by the arm and walked me to each new spot. And I thought that was just what they did for everybody. I found out later on, they don't normally do that. She did it especially for me. So as we're walking around, uh, we're chit-chatting. She speaks English, which most of the other people there didn't, so I was happy to talk to someone. And while we were walking around, we were just getting to know each other and asking, you know, where you're from, how long you'd lived here, uh, what you do here. I asked your mom, how did you learn to speak English? It learns that, <clears throat> turns out she lived in Australia for a few years. Um, you know, we were just chit-chatting, having a nice time. I thought, oh, wow, well, she's a nice lady, and she must have thought I was a nice guy. So at the end of the whole battery of tests, we get back to the counter, fill out the paperwork, and she says, okay, you're going to have to come back in two days. And I said, okay. She said, you got to pick up the results. And she told me, we need your phone number. And I said, sure, here it is. I didn't think anything of it. I thought the hospital needed it. Well, your mother was not very professional because on my way back to school in the taxi cab, my phone buzzed and I got a text message from your mom saying how nice it was to meet me and that uh, she was happy to be able to help me. And from there, that first text message started a series of messages. And those messages led to you guys. So next time you go to the hospital, next time you go to the bank, next time you go anywhere, that you might meet someone and you could fall in love with, give it a try. Give your best and be polite because you never know who you might be talking to. See you, boys. Thanks for listening, guys. Now go find me and let me know your answers.